everybody, uh, welcome back to uh, Thrasher's Ghetto Fabricating, and we're going to continue working on my 32 here again. Um, I got uh, the front suspension stuff we're working on today. Let me show you what I got here. And, all right, so uh, in the last video, I got the bones um, straightened out and added the uh, the bones and everything for the uh, the tie rod ends at the end there, so we can see those were kind of mocked up. So I'm on the spring here. I ordered one from Speedway. It's a uh, Posey's super low or whatever, but like I said, it is, but it's not even close to being low enough. Um, you can see I got it mocked up here in the car. Just, you know, let's kind of see where we're at. And you can see I'm getting closer, um, about the height there where it's going to fit into the cross member. And as you can see here, it's, um, you know, the eyes are a little bit off. Andre, I don't know anybody making a video here. So, uh, I guess what I do here is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, sit on the Dearch this spring. I've already started dearching it last night, but uh, first time I ever did that with my press. So I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, camera set up. Show you guys how I did. Uh, I took about an inch and three eighths out of it already. I'm going to see if I can get another half or so out of it, and uh, see how close we get this thing to, uh, you know, to get this thing. I, I don't want to do any major modifications to the frame here. I don't want to go spring behind. I want to keep it spring, you know, spring over the axle. So. Let me see if I can get a little more arch out of the spring, and, and we'll see if we can get this thing. Like I said, it is, is at ride height right now. The axle is, and so is the uh, frame. So, I see Andre. Want to say hi? There he is. Okay. So, we'll see if we can uh, get this uh, set up for you guys today. All right, so the first step of this uh, process here is to go ahead and disassemble the spring pack. Gonna go ahead and get that uh, done here, and then we'll move over to the uh, press, and I'll show you the uh, process to get the uh, less arch in the spring. Right, so I got the spring here, I got my press, and a couple of videos I watched on YouTube, guys, were making a um, some kind of fixture. All I used was the spacing of the actual table here, so uh, I was going to use that to hold it. And as you can see, I've made marks about every three inches or so. And uh, all I did was, um, I said, put it in the press and just kind of do it by feel. And I keep moving, you know, each side and do about the same amount of uh, pressure on each side. And I'm pretty close. I got some of the, the one spring's a little off, but I think it'll be fine once we get the pack together. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this, uh, start pushing this in the you know, shape. All I like to see, see I have measurements on here. Started at um, two and five eighths, then I got it down to two and a quarter, and uh, inch and three quarter was the last uh, measurement I got here. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can knock this down another three eighths, half inch or so. So that was 10 pumps there. So we can move on to my next one here. Do the same thing. Some pressure on it here and 10 pumps. I'm 
that eight there. Okay, a couple times through the press here. And on this pass, we started at inch and three quarter in the center. And if I can get this on here. And we're down about another, uh, down about an inch and a quarter, so about another half. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this for the other uh, shorter leaves here. And I'll put the uh, spring pack back together here off camera and show you guys uh, you know, how much more we can get out of this thing, how much lower we can get the spring. All right, so it's been through the press and multiple times here. And let's see where we're at. About three and a quarter. So we got another three eighths of an inch uh, out of it. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mock up the uh, front end and put some weight on this thing and kind of see how close I'm getting. Obviously, I'm a, I don't have all the weight on the car, but you get pretty close. I'd rather have it too low and have to put a spacer or something here than have it too high and try to figure out how to lower it later. Because um, you know, I don't want to start cutting cross members and everything else to try to get me to fit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sit and mock it up. All right, so you saw that last clip there, got the uh, front end assembled and uh, sitting at ride height. And it's maybe a half to quarter inch higher than it was sitting you know, in my mock-up, which I think is perfect. Uh, as the spring starts to settle, I think it'll uh, you know, be exactly where it needs to be. So um, spring looks great. The shackle angle looks great. You want it at the bottom 45, that's a little uh, greater than that. So that's, that's good. Uh, the only thing that we're gonna have to do, and I'm not doing this right now, is the spring has almost no clearance on the frame here it's even worse on the inside here uh, where the boxing plate is so what i'm going to do is eventually when the car when the audience tore apart again it'll be upside down i will uh notch here and box this in and make some kind of uh relief there just so it'll go up and down um if i do jump on it it does have enough clearance to move so i think we're good we're not binding on anything currently to throw off my uh my ride head or anything so that is good. So for now, or next, moving on, the next uh, thing we're gonna do is, let's see, is we are going to work on the mounts for the hairpins. So here's the mounts that comes with the uh, kit from Speedway. It's uh, just a big frame mount, which I'm sure you've seen like on the side, you could picture on the side of like a Model A or Model T frame or something, uh, T bucket or whatever, so you can see this bolt on there. Um, so I got this this with it because it does have the seven degree tape or whatever you look at what is you need for the early Ford tie rod ends to use those. So it's too big and bulky, so I came up with this here, um, made it out of that bracket, and I am going to uh, set the camera up here and show you how I made that. And we're going to get these tacked on, and that and the um, split bones will be attached to the frame, and we can keep moving with this front end. I'm starting here making this, uh, changing this bracket up here for the uh, split bones. And what I did here is I just put the socket on here to make sure it would, uh, had enough room close enough to uh, get a socket on it to tighten everything up, the castle nut. And then I just went up an uh, eighth inch above that is where I made my line where we're going to do the bend here. So I'm going to put this in device and put some heat to it and bend this thing over.
Okay, so you saw there, I got the, uh, got a bent, heat and bent, just uh, use my uh, big pair of, uh, use my big pipe wrench there, and just bent it over. And I made these uh, gussets here um, out of the same bracket, which is probably, was way too thick. I should have used, you know, used some 316ths or 8th, these are quarter and a little hard to work, but, and overkill, but whatever, it works. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I, I made those already, but I made the first uh, on the other side there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these welded in, and this bracket will be done. All right, so they're there. Got them on the car. Uh, got everything squared up, true, measured it in multiple places to make sure it was in the same spot. And went ahead and tacked it on there with a the MIG. And again, I'll wait till I can uh, put the chassis over the welds on or get it up high in the air or something because I don't want to be messing around. I'm trying to take weld on my back if I don't have to. So yeah, that's done. And let's see, front axle is in the right spot. And we're gonna keep rolling along here. Um, just keep working on this front suspension for you guys. Well, I think that's enough for this video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. And uh, we're going to keep going uh, here. I think next we're going to try to figure out the steering arms, which are going to be a little bit of a... Um, some figuring out here because because the axle so dropped so hard, it um, my steering arms are hitting, hitting the bones. So we're going to wrap this up. Just want to say uh, thanks for watching. Thrasher's Ghetto Fabricating. And uh, we will see you next time.